tries to put a sad face on these things, painting them up as great human tragedies. But we all know the function of the media has never been to eliminate the evils of the world. No. Their job is to persuade us to accept those evils and get used to living with them. The powers that be want us to be passive observers. And they haven't given us any other options outside the occasional, purely symbolic, participatory act of voting. You want the puppet on the right or the puppet on the left?
damn dirty ape. Right, anyway, so he's there, right? And he's messing about. Yeah. And then he just, like, puts his finger in his brother's mouth. Why? I don't know, because I think he's a bit weird, right? Right. And then his brother, because his brother's only little, right? He yeah. bites his finger. Yeah. And then he's just like, Dad, Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> and his dad's not even doing anything. He's probably like, well, you deserve it. Yeah, well, he does. He put his finger in his mouth. I mean, like, why are you putting your finger in your brother's mouth? That's just weird. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, just having a chat there. Uh, how you doing? Welcome to episode four of the Damn yeah. Dirty Eights podcast. That was Casa City with The Process. It was very nice. Uh, just a little bit about Casa City. They are from Liverpool, Scouse Metal, since 07. Uh, you can find them on Facebook, Casa City. They're on Twitter, at Casa City. CasaCity.co.uk. They've got a full album out for free download. It's called The Road Journals, which you can find from their website. Uh, what do you, I really liked that band. I saw them a few years ago in yeah. Leeds playing with Polar, and it was a really good gig. Mm. Um, they're on tour in September with Malefice and Silent Screams. Malefice of QI fame. Yes. <laughs> Malefice are my favourite band. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you'll find links to all that in the description. Anyway, what up? What up? How you doing, everybody? Uh, we're getting our few, few listeners each week. <laughs> you loyal dregs. <laughs> you loyal dregs of society. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah. Cheers for everyone that's um, been out with us this week and had a good time. Yep. Thanks to anyone who uh, went to our mate's gig at the North Prevails, who puts it on. Uh, apparently it was a rate good one. I couldn't make it there because yeah. I was skint. Yeah. But yeah, looks like it was a rate good weekend. It does. Looks like you managed to have your barbecue for a bit. Because <coughs> it were raining all day, weren't it? But then it yeah. stopped. Then it stopped. Anyway... This is fucking boring, isn't it? It is, but we're talking about the weather. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, hope you guys are good. Anyway, we've got a few things just to talk to you about. First one coming up is Basement Live. Every Monday, they have a jam night, which is hosted by our buddy, Vicky Goodwin. Yeah, who's playing with us later on. But yeah. anyway. Um, so, yeah, they just started doing this. I think they did the first one last this week, I yeah. think it were. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be there a week on Monday. So, yeah, we're going to pop down. So if any fans are there, you can... Come and get our autographs. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I won't sign that. I, I, might, I, might, I may acknowledge you, but <laughs> I, I may just wa- wave you off to, as, as nothing. I don't know yet. It depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> depends how big his entourage is. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> if I've got, like, if I've got like more than one person with me, then don't even bother because... Don't even. You know, I'm just trying to have downtime. Yeah. <laughs> just trying you to know, chill away, away from the bright lights in the big city. Yeah. Everybody, right. everybody needs a break. They do. Uh, also, coming up, we've got one on the 13th of September, as we've talked about before, at the Abbey Inn in Oldham. Yeah. It's our buddy, Emma Hallows, and it's Joe Smith, and mm-hmm. it's Vicky Goodwin. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be there pissing about. Yep. Talking bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you'd listen, you'd be listening to this just for a full night. Yeah. So. And you might get a duet. Like we said, we've not decided yet. I may potentially ruin your ears with some... Some sing- if you've got any idea of a song we should sing, do tell me. Yeah. I want to sing Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah, I'd like that. But we, you know, we could sing, you know, what's that one you like? Lineman for the County. Yeah, Wichita <laughs> Lineman. <laughs> I am a lineman for the county. <laughs> Bloody hell fire. <laughs> anyway, also, friends of the show, Mike and Paddy, I've been on the Abbey's 200th birthday weekender, yeah. which is the same weekend. Uh, well, it's about, I think it's about the week before our gig, so... Yeah. I'm going to be on that one as well. Yeah, he's going to be on that one. He's getting everywhere, see? Yeah, just making, the making, making places, <laughs> making waves. Just also, as we talked about last week, Golden Tanks and our mates in I Am The Wreckage. Basement Live, 7th of September. That's going to be buzzing. That's going to be mm-hmm. great good. So get down for that one. Yeah. You fucks. Yeah, Any of you, this week's classic album, I'm going to hand you over to Joe because I know toss all about this one. <laughs> it's, um, it's probably my favourite album of all time and it's probably everybody's favourite. Well, it's probably the, It's been voted the best live album countless times. It's Thin Lizzy's Live and Dangerous. And, I mean, it's just... It's one of those albums that I can listen to over and over and I do. I listen to it all the time at work. Um, I mean, it's got, like, Jailbreak Emerald, Southbound on it. But the best, the best thing on it for me is still in love with you because it's got this huge, big guitar solo, and he was only um, how old was he? I think he was seventeen when he recorded it, and it is just one of the most ble- like beautiful bluesy solos ever. And the cowboy songs on it, and Boys Are Back in Town, and Warriors, and Baby Drives Me Crazy, and The Rocker, and oh, it's awesome. So you all know Thin Lizzy, yeah. I mean, that's thing. I'm not. I, I know Thin Lizzy. I'm not a huge fan, but like I said, I know pretty much all those tracks. Yeah. So like, so yeah, that's a. Uh, 
So when was it recorded then? Any 1978, I think. 78. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of controversy about it whether it was actually all live or not. Right. Um, a lot of the crowd is they saying is probably taken from a Cliff Richard gig. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a if, bit... Cliff, if Cliff Richard was was wilder than the Thin Lizzy gig, <laughs> then that's, was that what it were like? The oh, Thin, yeah, Lizzy, Thin just, Lizzy fans were just all a bit just like really like mm, like mm. cricket fans. <laughs> 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 then the Cliff Richard's like Cliff, <laughs> Cliff. No, yeah, apparently I took my third bra off. <laughs> <laughs> Some Cliff. of the interim crowd bits. I've brought, but, um, I've brought a Tesco bag with extra brass just to throw at you. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you. Or maybe nice? I'll take you guys on a summer holiday. <laughs> oh, my fucking God! Isn't it nice his face has finally caught up with his bollocks? But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Cliff. <laughs> but you yeah, piece of shit. There's a lot of overdubs on this as well, and um, apparently Phil was just supposed to re-record some of the vocals, and then everyone was like, well... I messed up this guitar bit, can I do that again? And it's ended up sort of almost not being a live album, but it is in the sense that parts of it are live. So, <laughs> so it's definitely well worth it wasn't listening. Unknown, it wasn't unknown, it still isn't unknown to no, not have yeah. every, it all recorded at the same time. Yeah. Like, they can record it over, like, a few nights yeah. and use the best of best. Yeah. Like, that's, that's still not unknown today. No, it's, when, it was, when live albums come out, they yeah. might, like, if they know they're going to be recording it, They'll sometimes record like they'll play like the same place like three nights on yeah. the run, and they record and the each set. One. The sets will be basically identical, and yeah. they'll, they'll like just chop and paste the yeah. best bits. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, there's another one for your collection: Thin Lizzy's Live and Dangerous. Get it? It's about three quid in HMV, and it's well worth. <laughs> you can find it in <laughs> petrol station. <laughs> petrol stations everywhere. Dad rock albums. Dad that's rock what you albums. Want. We got my dad one for his for Father's Day. It was, it's it's just, great. The aren't belt they? in. You just driving around listening to Status Boston, quo. Boston and Quo and Foreigner and <laughs> Meatloaf. <laughs> hey, we're in we, sync. We know what it is. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Thin Lizzy, Live and Dangerous. That's your new one. Go for it. Next song we've got for you is a band that called Saviors. And the song's called Live Forever. They're a five piece rap rock band from Preston. I really like these. Uh, I think I'm fairly, I think, I'm not sure. They used to be in a band that I used to really like. They're nothing like Saviors. I think they were in a band that I used to like all the time. I'm not going to say the name just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll have a word and see if they are. It looks like the same dude. I'm not sure though. But yeah, uh, they're, they're Saviors on Facebook. They've got some a couple of songs out for free on their band camp page, which you can find in the link. Um, Underneath, if you, if you so wish, <laughs> if you so wish, if you don't, then you know you can Google Saviors if you like. If you so yeah, this is uh, this is Saviors with Live Forever. Yeah.
Okay, and that was Saviors, Live Forever. Like I say, you can find them on Facebook. They've got some songs for free on the Bandcamp. We'll give you all, all that information when this is uploaded. Mm. Anyway, coming up next, we've got a, a lovely young lady called Sophie Porter. Yeah. And she's from Norwich, home of Alan Partridge. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, uh, coppers, I've got no tax and no insurance. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> oh, Sorry, no more spoilers. No, Alpha uh, Papa. No, not like you're ever going to fucking know what that is. Breaking Bad was really good, Jamie. I actually, really have, I actually good. haven't seen it, so fucking show up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Jamie, this week. We'll fuck this guy up, right? I am the one who knocks. I, oh, right, 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 right. Shut up, shut up. Just shut That's up, from man. an old episode. Yeah, but man. I don't remember. I could, it could have been from new one if you didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Right, anywho, what was I saying? Yeah, Sophie Porter, she's an acoustic folk punk singer-songwriter. Oh, that's a mouthful. From um, no, from Norwich. You can find her on Facebook. She's Sophie Porter. You can also... She's got a... On, uh, she, she's got some songs on her band page on her Facebook you can download for free. Yeah. Well, yeah. Quite, quite nice. I think I saw her years ago play with our mate Emma. Yeah. I think I saw... I think it was her. She's in that same sort of vein. Yeah, I think I saw her at the Garrett in Manchester. I think it's her. I'm pretty... The songs sound very similar to what I remember hearing. Anyhow, this is... It's only a little song for you, but I really like this song. It's called Life by Sophie Porter. Wrap your luggles around this one, kids. Stay positive Cause we Have got a long way to go What's the point in crying yourself to sleep Cause it'll be there in the morning Waiting for you to open bloodshot eyes Got the same routines, reading the same magazines, drinking cups of coffee from the plastic cups on the side, waiting in these four white walls and tapping your feet on sterile floors. How do you do it? Cause this is life as we know it. Keep your head down if you want to get through it Life as we know it Keep your head down if you want to get through it Life as we know it Keep your head down if you want to get through it Life as we know it Keep your head down if you want to get through it Life as we know it Keep your head down if you want to get through it Life as we know it you keep your head down if you want to get through it. All right, that was Sophie Porter with Life. I bet you all loved that one, didn't you? I like it. Very nice song. Like I say, you can find it on Facebook. There'll be links to it in the description. Coming up next, we've got something completely different for you. Completely different. Completely different. We've got the lovely young chaps. Very nice guys from I'll Stay in Memphis. Uh, I've, they've been around for quite a few times. To- sorry, for quite a while. I've seen them quite a few times. Mm-hmm. And they always just seem like really genuine dudes. Every yeah, time I've watched nice them, like, yeah, I've seen them loads of times over the years, just in different places. Always seem like cool guys. Uh, they've had a bit of a lineup change, I believe, since the last song. I think they got a new vocalist. I'm not yeah. sure. I think yeah, they do. They have a new vocalist. Anyway, they're like I say, they're a five-piece post-hardcore band from Manchester. Um, you can find them on Facebook. I'll stay in Memphis. They're on Twitter at Memphis UK. They have some music up for free download, which will be in the description because I can't actually remember where it goes. And uh, they got some merch for sale on a big cartel site. That will be in the description as well. Anyway, this is I'll Stay in Memphis with Dendra Pendency. Yeah. Is right. 
Okay, everyone, that was I'll Stay in Memphis with Dendropendency. As I say, it's, uh, they've got music out for download, they've got merch, they've got Twitter, Facebook, it'll all be in the description. Yep. Quite well known, this band, I have to say, around the Manchester area. A lot of people have seen this band. Yeah. I know a lot of people who are big fans of this band. They played at our local boozer quite a few times, mm -hmm. but they're a bit better than that now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, boy, I like that. I'll stay in Memphis, boy. They made my dick go hard, boy. I tell you, boy. Don't get many drivers down this way. We're descending into madness already. I tell you, I don't bloody know. Anyway, so if you like that, do go and show them some love. I'm, they were really nice about being on the podcast as well. Yeah. Like most of the time when I, when I ask a band personally, they're always like, yeah, cool, yeah, that's cool. These guys were like, yeah, man, we'd be super into doing that. You know, do you want us to send you the song? Do you want us to blah, blah, blah? I was like, yeah, man, cool, sweet. Yeah. Whatever you want, whatever you want to do. So they were really nice about it, which was why I was quite glad to play them on this show for you. Anyway, coming up, we've got something a little bit different again for you. But yeah. no, I don't think we've ever played anything quite like this. This is Palm Struck. Yeah, they're... Um... I'm going to pass it over to my boy for you there's um a, a guy i've known for a few years from oldham college called jimmy who's a really nice guy who did the uh album artwork for my ep and my logo and yeah he's a really cool guy um does a bit of web design for a living and i think that's what he does he did fine art at uni anyway and he's got some of the best tattoos i've ever seen ever he's got this huge moby dick whale on the side of him but anyway what a cool guy yeah he's really awesome um I wasn't actually being cocky then. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like I was being right, dick. <laughs> anyway. Oh, what a cool what a cool guy. <laughs> cool story, bro. Does he have a course? <laughs> <laughs> but no, he sounds like a dude. Anyway, yeah, he is a dude. Cool. I like this band's music, anyway. Yeah, they're called Palmstruck, and he plays bass for them. Um, and they've, they've been around for a little while. I'd, I've... I'd heard of them because Jimmy had told me about them, but I've never been to see them, and I keep meaning to go. But they play in places like Deaf Institute and all over Manchester, really. I think Jimmy lives in Didsbury now. I think he well, did live in Salford before, well, but now he lives in Didsbury. Well, me. <laughs> 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 oh, they've got, they've got quite a bit out. They've got a music video out. Um, <laughs> doing all right there, Nick? I was trying to cough and not into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then you had to point it out. Well, it leave just, this in for comics. To be moment. honest, it just looked like you were dying on the other side. I was of trying me. to cough quietly. It doesn't. You can't cough quietly, can you? No. I was trying to cough into my sleeve like this. Like, <laughs> 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 doesn't work, does it? At no. All. no. Anyway, there you go, <laughs> anyway. kids. We're human. We cough just like you. We're dying. We're diseased. <laughs> right. So, yeah, I mean, Jimmy's been a good friend for a few years, and this band are really, really good. They sound tight as the production on it's brilliant and it just sounds like Stephen Fry now the production on that album it's a dirty joke to have made there but I won't say it <laughs> um, the lead singer underwent a heart transplant in like when was it 2012 no 2000 th 2010 became really ill and needed a heart transplant and five minutes before he went under he emailed some ideas of a song to the rest of the band which I think is really cool that's pretty cool isn't yeah. it yeah well done. Surviving today. a heart transplant is really cool, but yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so he got a new heart and then it got back into a band. Um, the EP is called Stupid Future, which is out now. And they recorded it at Blueprint Studios in Salford, which I've used quite oh, a bit. Oh, Blueprint Studios. Yeah. I, I think everyone's heard of Blueprint yeah. Studios. I quite like Blueprint. It's always good, guys. When we was doing... Uh, when we when I was at uni, we used to use that as a, as a practice space, and um, yeah, there's always really cool people hanging around in there. And if you do want to get in a band, then that is a place just to go and stand next to because there's always musicians <laughs> there. <laughs> I remember when I used to practice uh, when I was in a band for a bit. There was a ne across from us. There was the the number one jam tribute band in the UK. Oh really? The Jam Restart. Oh shit! I've heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> they used to practice across from us. I'm fairly sure my stepdad's been to see them. It was them. weird because we was a metal band in there, and it was like everyone else in there was indie bands. <laughs> but they were all cool. They were all cool. Like, some, I can't remember the names of half these bands. But we used to. Uh, there was my captive audience were one of them. Oh yeah, I who remember my them. mate used to play. Yeah. You might remember this band. Anyway, but the, uh, there was this band who used to be next to us. I can't remember the name of them now. But they used to like come in and just knock on our door and go, "Yeah, lads." 
he started frightening us a bit. <laughs> and but at the time we were like, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Metal Slayer. <laughs> But uh, really, we just thought, no, we just we don't fit in it, do we? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think yeah. We, so. That, it disbanded very quickly because we were children, and we were renting a rehearsal room we couldn't afford. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> it was good though because if you, if you, it was one of them where you got the keys yourself. Oh, so you could go in any time. So you could just go and live there if you wanted. Yeah. So we, we had like this. One of the bands gave us a settee. <laughs> right, nice. <laughs> so uh, you know, like, they were going to throw it out. We said, "Oh, we'll have it. We'll have a settee." So like, we used to go in there and just sit on the settee. <laughs> <laughs> so you just rented like a rec room, really? Yeah, yeah. kind of. <laughs> anyway, back to Palm Street. Anyway, this is uh, we've got a song for you to, pl- to yeah. play for you now. It's this called, is them anyway. It's What's called it? "Don't Try" by Palm Stroke. I yeah. hope you enjoy it like we do, bitch. <laughs>
anyway, that was... <laughs> Sorry, we just <laughs> got distracted there. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was Palmstruck with Don't Try. Like I say, where they got stuff out, have they? Yeah, they've got uh, an EP out. Uh, they're on Facebook as Palmstruck. They've got gigs coming up. They've got a music video out for a song called Battery that's quite... Well, I mean, it's quite a well-shot video, actually. It's really nice. Uh, I imagine Jimmy had quite a lot to do with that because he is artsy as fuck. Brilliant. Well, this will <laughs> all be in the description for you. Yeah, I mean, they, these guys are pros. They've got press pack. Oh yeah, they've done. They're you more know, professional. Done it right. They are. If you, if you, yeah, they are. If you, if if you're in a band and you're listening to this, go and look at their press pack and then fucking do yeah. one yourself because it makes step our your job. game up. Son. Yeah, it makes our job easier with the press. Wondering why no one cares about you. Yeah, no one's yeah. liking your Facebook. Oh, page. by the way, I've got another song to add to our list of the worst songs ever made. Oh god, I forgot about this song completely. You guys may know this: Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch with <laughs> Vibrations. <laughs> now, I've, I've started. To, I've started to like Mark Wahlberg over the last I few like years. Mark I used to hate the guy so. You bad. know, he's got a burger chain, a burger, a restaurant called Mark Wahlberger. See, now I don't like the guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, because yeah, I used to hate the guy in every film, but lately he's been doing better. But if you don't think he's a dick, go and watch the video for this song. Yeah, this is it's how just him. Out. A bunch. Of, I think the only reason he got the video is because his brother's in New Kids on the Block. Yeah. So like he said, he kind of his brother. Probably, I think I think that must have been it because no one spotted him and went, God damn, God damn. You know what we need another really white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla Ice is not white enough, and he's just there. He looks like John Cena, right? <laughs> and he's just there going. It's just a bunch of black people dancing. That's just him going, yeah, in the rhythm and the round. And it's like, <laughs> the song would be good without him, innit? Yeah, it'd be a good beat. It's like quite a good little, like, funky song, like, get them good vibrations. I like it. Like, that song's good, then you just hear him going, like, <laughs> you see him in the video going, yeah. <laughs> just there, like, <laughs> oh, turn into, like, yeah. Barry White. <laughs> I don't know if this was pre, I don't know if this was pre or, like, or after um, Boogie Nights, I am not sure. Because I think that was not like the first thing you were in. Bo- I can't remember. Boogie Nights. Possibly. That, that's a shit and all. Yeah. <laughs> Boogie Nights. Anyway, that's your lot from us anyway. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, like I say, I've been Nick. I've been Joe. We're going to change our names, though. Yeah, we might do. Uh, yeah, so you can follow <laughs> us on Twitter, at TDA Podcast on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook, the Damn Dirty H Podcast. Uh, you can send us an email. If you've got any music, do email it to us, tddapodcast at gmail.com. Yeah, thanks to Rob, Kenny, Callum... Everybody else who shared it out over the last few weeks. Thanks to Jamie Gregory. Jamie Thanks Gregory, to John Benson. John. I am the wreckage. Yep. Thanks to Badger Brogdon. Thanks yep. to all those cool guys. Emma Hallows. Emma Hallows, Vicky Goodwin, Mike and Paddy, all those cool people. Thanks to everyone who's been on this podcast. We've had Carter City. We've had Sophie Porter. We have had I'll Stay in Memphis, Palmstruck, and I'm sure I'm missing someone, Saviors. These yep. will all be in the link uh, for this podcast. Sorry. I'm, you might think, I don't know. Well, how's, how's this been today? It's been good. I've liked it. Yeah. It's been enjoyable. Nick's upset because he's a bit tired. I know. I just don't think I've done, I've done well. I mean, we don't. I think. I mean, really we, sure I mean, I mean, we, we, well. I mean, we are like low hanging fruit. <laughs> 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 That's what we should call this podcast. Oh my god! Reaching for the low hanging <laughs> fruit. Reaching for the lowest fruit. <laughs> but today, it just feels like oh we're god. we're just picking up the crab apples yeah. that have fallen off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> we are like the two sloths of music journalism. We have just picked up the we, we're like no, but we are just low hanging fruit. But yeah. it's like today, it just feels like we're just picking up those hanging <laughs> crab apples that have fallen off the tree and worms are in. I had, I had one. And we're, going, and we're just picking up and going, this will do. This will do. <laughs> Uh, we're sorry you guys thank you so much if you liked this I don't know why you would (laughs) sorry I'm doubting myself here if you liked it do tell us if you've got anything to show us do tell us we will be back next week unless one of us is dead even if even if one of us is dead (laughs) one of us will have to carry on we'll find a co-host especially if (laughs) (laughs) especially if predict it to happen it's probably going to happen we aren't the healthiest of guys no we like to walk in front of traffic (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, thank you. Bye bye and peace. Peace. I wonder what my life would be like if I robbed a quickie mart.
I'll do it. I'll rob the quickie mart. 